Welcome back to part two of the video. Uh, looks like I'm gonna be piled by four, three monsters. Magic attacks are too strong for me. I thought I could handle them. They knocked me down. Like, they knocked me down like that. Before I knew it, I was down to like this much health, and I tried to eat, and I didn't make it in time. Wow, you really said that? No, you said it. Alright, so. 
I'm gonna go back and try this again. Oh my god, we got fucked up there, didn't we, Steve? Why would you say that? Why would you not be supportive? I mean, being supportive is what you need to do. This is a fucking Grandmaster quest, man. You want me to do this so you don't have to spend any more money getting out of your I mean, like, really? That's what I thought. Alright, I'm going to do this. You ready? Level 100. Okay. I'm going to put on protection from magic because I should be okay from everything but protection from magic. I'm also going to put on protect item. Successfully kill one of them. See, I'm, I've killed one. Work on the second one. Yes, I beat him. Right no, don't you dare say that. You should not have come here. I did it. What? Hold on. 103 automaton generators will appear from spots on the wall. They will give you a warning that all moderate life, moderate life forms must turn back. You say you are not, but they insist and you fight them. They have no weaknesses, so attack them using any combat style that you're strongest in with your combination of abilities. They have an attack where they will bang the ground repeatedly, run behind a tree when they start this attack. Once you've killed the automaton generators, a shadowy figure will appear and demand that who has woken him. He will mask himself as Guthix, but will transform into Slisk. And you realize he was a madrid the generators could sense. Silas tells you that Guthix himself is asleep deep within the chambers. Those that have lived as long as he had had known Guthix remained on Gilnor, it was just a question of where. Slisk then shows you the effects of finding Guthix's lair in a cutscene, taking you to the wilderness to see Zemurgal and God Wars. He tells you that he wants to save Guthix and keep him alive from the Zemurakians and the Ceridominists. Now you must save Guthix before he is in danger. Oh my god. Alright. How can I be sure you're Guthix? Alright then. Clear evidence that these are Guthluxian. You've set off a defense system that for some reason is still active. Oh, and in case you didn't notice, only you could open the doors. I think we can also assume that I have better things to do than to pose riddles to you, so this must be important. Actually, that's not true. I'm quite enjoying watching you struggle to understand the situation, but this is still important. Any clue yet? Let me put you out of your misery. This place is not empty. Got the sixth self. I'm still sleeping deep beneath these chambers, and you managed to unlock the entrance. All 
All right, so I did this part of the quest. I it's pretty interesting. I'm gonna have to take a small break and uh, go back to Ardung again to get prayer potions because I am gonna need them. I only have a couple, but we'll see if I can hold on. What do you think, Steve? Damn. I'm freaking out though. That quest was tough. Just that first step, fighting those three guys. Oh, yeah, I beat the three monsters. But that's only the first step in a line of things. So we're gonna continue on this quest. Let me just grab some prayer potion. I want to hear it too, bitch. A little headstrong. He came in, like, trying to shun me, basically. He's like, dude, that's cool. You know, I could do all this extra stuff. I'm like, mm -hmm. Danny would probably troll the hell out of your brother. How's that for setup? Well, Danny is a scorpion that has three monitors at once and he can watch us from any security camera. Oh. It's crazy. So we're gonna head down here. We're gonna continue the quest. I did die. This morning I do have more prayer potions now. Pause the video at this point. We're gonna come back in a second. So, uh, see you guys in a few minutes.